Welcome to another episode of Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my soldiers with me. <laughs> if you're my and if you're only watching, okay. What's up? What's up? <laughs> How you doing? Salute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Is that, is that you? all you have to say? Yes, please. Okay. I'm, I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. I'm good. You're I beautiful feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. You are too, Jer Jerry. Ah, please, oh. The, before you know what they say, that presenter is 100%. Yeah. <laughs> this one I'm beginning to look beautiful. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 Comment, leave these commentators alone. They have one. Pe these people have a lot to say. Sometimes they hate you, sometimes they love you. Mm, but we see your comments and we love them. So just please keep them, them coming. Negative, them positive, whatever. WhatsApp, Be free. <laughs> or YouTube, of course, at Plus TV Africa. Yeah, so call him whatever you want to call him. <laughs> oh, no, no hate speech allowed. <laughs> yeah, so now we're going on to, I think, BB Brother Niger. Yeah, Nigerian Twitter users react to Terry Wire's statement about Eric and of course Terry Wire is Kid Wire's dad. Um, Terry Wire Obviously. had in a live session on Instagram, okay again, Kid Wire is a big brother contestant, said Obviously. that he will ensure his son gives half of the prize money to charity and other half to Erica if he wins the Big Brother Ninja lockdown show. And of course, reactions are pouring in. Some are saying, is he the one that's going to tell his son what to do with the money? Mm. Some are saying, um, although kid is not going to win anyway, but, you know, like that. So, I don't know. When I saw that post, I found it very disturbing too because it looked like that's a controlling dad. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, wait, wait. Some people wait. also said it seems like a strategy as well. Yeah, I like that angle. If that's where but it's I don't coming, agree to that angle if that is where if it's coming from, if you the man in question, will give you people did it five million times. No, of course. And but, also, he already said that he was going to do that. I think he's just reiterating what his son had said the day Eric left, the day after when he was talking to Lekon, he's like he's going to do everything in his kid said to Lekon that he's mm. going to do everything in his power to help. Erica, like, you know, people well, he did not say he was going to give out obvious. half of the money. Is, the, is, is 85 million the only amount of money kid Wire has? It's not even 85 million. I hope you guys know cash. cash. Yeah, I think it's, it's about 35 million and whatever, cash. I think, I saw, and the rest, I'm not very sure now. Either cars, way, it's for the dad to say that. He's saying it because his son had already, had already um, <laughs> what's it called, he, um, hinted it to me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was saying anything that was con necessarily contradicting it. Because I remember people were, were um, what's it called, almost trolling kid for saying that because it looked like Erica was like a, like a project or something that needed a lot of money the way yeah, he said it. So, I don't know. Well, so, so okay. We're, so we're, let's cool. go back to the project part. Please, who will take me as a project? Because <laughs> 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 I don't know how you people are so always in your feelings on Twitter. But it's okay. Please but go I, I know Erica is made for life though. That one is guaranteed. Mm. So, um, but as I that, can I finish now? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. Finish. So, I see that like finish. a very controlling dad because, um, <laughs> yeah. You can't tell a grown man what to do with his money. That's one. Mm. Number two, it's okay for you to say that, okay, uh, you give America from your own purse. Don't be planning my money. Do you understand? I don't think my father would your do that. Your money. I mean, it's, his money. It's, it's my the, money. Does Kid Wire have money that isn't All the money that Kid Wire has been spending in his life. Yeah, That's so you're, you're different. Like you know, you know what? You guys always make it look like um, parents um, are doing us a favor. They are only taking up their responsibilities. And mm. I hope I'm a good father like that to be able to do as much as so my father So then if I'm giving you all me. the toys and I'm supplying all your toys, is there a problem if I say you can share this little toy that you're well, about it's to like, get? Okay, it's like every toys, month. I know that all the toys that you need in this time, I'm going to, sub I'm going to keep on supplying it. You see, my father knows we, how much I not, earn, you, right? I don't think mm. your father is a billionaire. My father is not a billionaire either. I don't know how to be Okay, he's fine. he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Money. I'm All pretty right, sure that Daddy, cut you. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing <laughs> when <laughs> Kibaya's dad was making uh, money? But that's kind of question but, they ask us. Uh, like, what mm. are you doing? Are you so, your for baby? me, oh, I feel like if you're a billionaire and you're telling your son that he's swimming in your billions, the little amount, the 85%, that's probably 1% of the pool of money that you he has... It. Why, why, what is the big deal in saying that? Oh, give your friend I don't or whatever. That's what, that. what we're saying. So. You guys are not getting well, we get the your point. point we get we are not saying that Who don't be nice. It's like if I has people that used to come and talk for this table. Yeah, it's, no, no, no. The <laughs> people gang. that, but yeah. The people you have spoken gang, with. Gang, gang. Yeah. Okay. You know, we're not saying that it shouldn't be charitable. We're not mm. saying okay. it shouldn't. Um, but wait and have a conversation with your son. Myself and my son discussed this and we have decided that. Do you understand? 
understand? Yeah. Don't make it look Sean like... Sean already hinted it. Oh, already. So, so he's speaking just, on his... He's just he's giving away his head. Did the son also hint on the charity? Giving the rest to charity? This dude has been in the house saying he was going to help everybody. Have you not been watching this show? Hey, but I'll, don't you mention charity I'll in particular? That's their fair. thing. They Baba give charity. Uh, uh, let, okay, let so my back. question is, my question is, because... um. And even if he tweets, it doesn't mean he's going to do it. Let the man tweet what yeah, he wants to I think he'll do it. But anyway, what, do you, what, what are you saying? My question is, yeah, it may seem like it's a small amount of money compared <laughs> to the wires, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But does kid wire... That means you have to, for you to say that, mm -hmm. it now makes me look at Kid Wire in a different light. Like, what? 85 million is nothing. Of they course do it. that. Well, they you do, didn't know before. No, 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 no. He's been no, saying there that. There are lots of billionaires kids, trillionaires kids that are very broke. Let me tell you why. Okay, you must have when seen David those celebrity kind of stories, family. right? Where he said um, that they are the brokers because why? They will ask you, is it food you want to buy? Is it clothes you want to buy? They don't give their kids money like that. But they open trust funds. Hold on. Secondly, um, Davido was in his growing process and his dad was trying to straighten him out. So it was a case of, oh, I wanted to do music. And I, and and I, I don't want to, want to, to do school. Yeah. And I'm there sure was a Kid Wire is not a perfect child either. Of course, but he has if gone to school right, anyway. You do that, the super story thing gone. for every billionaire. These anyway, people have money. On. It's okay. Don't history. create a fantasy yeah. story around it. The oh, fact that you're a billionaire doesn't mean... Look, I just want to make sure... I'm fighting for my guy, Kid Wire, now. Don't fight for him only. It's not giving you Take me as a project, my guy. It's only... You know, it's still a Big Brother, but um, <laughs> let's say the reality show dramas. Big Brother Africa reality star, um, Yuti Wachuku apologizes to Big Brother Niger. Is she the reality star now or executed star? I don't know. S M S. What's that? Com X X, X, X B B N. <laughs> what's the word? No, no, no. She was disqualified. Disqualified. So uh, can we still call her BB Niger reality star? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so disqualified BB Niger. Yeah. Disqualified BB Niger star Tacha over harsh comments he made after her disqualification from BB Niger reality TV show in 2019. In a lengthy caption on Instagram, he said he now understands what it felt like for her and her fans, and I'm guessing this is coming out of the back of um, him supporting Erica with all his shits. And, and getting now, backlashes for that? Or what? Uh, now she's been disqualified, so he kind of feels a bit... No, aside, aside that, um, what he wrote when, um, what is her name, Tacha came out, like, uh, uh, Pride Befalls, uh, uh, before the downfall, what did they uh, say that in? Pride goes Pride, before Pride a Pride fall. goes before a fall, and uh, let the Big Brother Niger game begin. But when Erica got disqualified now mm. he made it look like tacha was the bad person that she wasn't even contributing anything mm. but when erica got the same treatment he was like uh in a world where people don't treat you where you're trying to be yourself and people don't so they're like yeah and in my own personal opinion erica deserved being disqualified but i don't think tacha deserved being disqualified that was my own opinion it's still my own opinion but yeah tacha on. was hmm. way ill-mannered thank you thank no, you it's we are talking on based on the strike and who pulled whose hair in the house, we are not talking of the ill manner. I mean, we know how many people that have been in the house. Why would we not talk about that? Because that was the build up to the disqualification had in the house. No, it wasn't. Uh, uh, it was, the disqualification no, didn't Tatcha, happen. Erica from is one a event. very good girl. It was a series when of events that pulled the disqualification. The strike had been cleared. So it was on a clean slate. You don't think that the fact that this babe had previous whatever. I think that argument, that that comparison is a bit for me. Well, that's how I feel about it. Erica has issues yes but i don't i wouldn't compare her ill-manneredness that was displayed in the house i don't know these people from adam mm. anyway uti's uti's apology to me didn't really add up because of what I, I i stand with in terms of the comparison i think um um he could have still st um, stood on his ground when because i saw the tweet about about hey about what's her name What's Tatcha. her name? Tatcha. And mm -hmm. I felt like he was, yeah, yeah, absolutely. This babe mm -hmm. had a nasty attitude. She was disrespectful to everyone. She was hard to work with. She didn't take the... Um, she acted um, like she, didn't take she the, was um, God the, over the, everybody. What's it called? Yeah. The competitions in the whatever, seriously. Ha there was nothing about her attitude, except from the fact that this babe did not gossip. That was the only she thing. Was real. That was the only thing that I could say, oh, your character was great. Erica, on the other hand, to me, revealed other aspects of herself that wasn't all bad. I could say a lot of things about her that was good. <laughs> the only thing that I know that really stirred up Erica's misbehaviors was even alcohol and all of that type of stuff. Either way, she even apologizes. Even though the apology may be sometimes like a broken record, I would take Erica over that any time, any day. So for me, I didn't see the relevance of his tweet because I would have stood, stood by that if well, I tweeted I, I feel that. like if someone have, has realized that he or she has done something wrong and decides to apologize, then I don't think we should tell you, no, you should 
you don't apologize or you don't apologize to well. I mean, personally, uh, well, so one thing I liked for him, but one thing I liked about, yeah, okay, about um, what Uti said about his apology was the fact that he was like, um, I, I think I've said this before that if you disrespect somebody in public, it's only fine, to, it's only right yeah, to come to and ap apologize. apologize. Did he actually disrespect yeah. her though? Well, why would we, we, so we, we decide mm, that? Well. So let's go on a very quick break, and when we come back, we'll carry on our conversation. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Now, um, according to AY Comedian, the laziness of most Nigerian youth is caused by the tragedy of unemployment. Nothing is more heartbreaking than graduating with a good degree with no job to do or finding yourself in a system of governance that doesn't work. Your situation sometimes determines your priority. Mm. End of quote. I have to agree mm. completely. A lot of the times... Everywhere else I've lived in, and unfortunately I've lived in quite a few um, cities and stuff, not being extraordinary is not a crime. If mm. I just wanted to have a basic job, a basic degree, a basic result, and I wanted to do basic things, I'll be fine. I would get a basic job that would give me a basic life. And the life was sweet. Here, if you're not fantastic it's and Michelle extraordinary, amenities. and you can hustle 7,000 things at the same time, and your mind is extremely creative, or you're extremely light, you must have something that is like... Oh, wow. what, what did we do to you now? Like, uh, did you not just drag us behind the scenes? <laughs> Take us from this. Take life skin out of that equation it, because no. we still hustle no, and suffer in this country. Fam, relax. Yes, I know. I'm relaxing. <laughs> there is a lot please. of things that you need to do to be extraordinary mm. to 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 be above the status quo yeah. here in this country. Either you have a, a, a network that's extraordinary, or your parents are extraordinary, or something. Mm. You can't just be born from a regular father and go to a regular polytechnic and expect something extraordinary. And at least have your basic life. You it know, happens, that. It's but really the percentage is really low. Very low, almost non-existent, because there is no middle class as far as I'm ah, concerned. I feel I, like the I people here are it either... It happens at all. Yes, because it does. When we are talking There's about basic life, we're talking about power. We are talking about... There's a few. You, My so sister's husband is a living testimony to that. So... That what? He went to a regular polytech polytechnic. Mm -hmm. He went through but he's doing well struggle. now. He, he's not, um, he didn't go to the best schools. He doesn't have an extraordinarily rich father, mm -hmm. but he's doing extremely That's well. That's what I'm talking about now. because that's extremely well. He had something extraordinary about him. Either he was able to suffer head more than normal to be able to get to that point. I'm talking about people who have done the basics and have basic standard of living nothing just basic, nothing, just basic. Living, like even as successful. as the moment not successful and you have a grand story that's what I keep you have saying. water running into your yes house. you, you have, have you know you're, you're a proper middle class mm. I, I haven't seen that i don't think that i think it exists maybe a bit i don't know if maybe one percent of the population but i feel like that's something that reveals the inequalities and the disparities i still don't get between. it when you say it's different that there's something extraordinary about him you mean in what sense i don't okay. get that so if i let's say i, I grew up in south africa mm. and i was like you said you're your 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 brother-in-law, whatever, mm. that lifestyle. Usually, if I didn't have anything, any extraordinary, whatever, and I just worked hard on a normal basis, I would get a normal job and I'm able to feed my family, blah, mm. blah, blah. And nothing's mm. fantastic. Here, if you are not extremely, you know, extra about something to be able to give you that upper, upper part, to be able to make yourself, make something of yourself, you would be extremely poor. There mm. is no you know, in the middle and stuff. And there's not a lot of people that get the opportunities with whatever privilege you are able to use to climb up to get to the other side of the of, of the status quo. So you're either really, really, really poor or 
middle <laughs> one leg middle class and, and richer so I, I feel like that is a a, a, um, a, a reflection really cool. of, of the government I you feel like that's it. where the government comes into play to support the people that don't have the extraordinary the government is supposed to play give a playing field for each citizen and they have failed us it's terribly right. in that department yeah okay. <laughs> which is why I'm going to go to the educational system right a and, very um, very very yeah. strong one okay. and I think it's time for us to start inculcating vocational skills into mm. our educational system because I keep telling, I have a friend, right, when I was doing my youth service in Emo State, he used to make um, slippers and put all this Mickey Mouse on it, you know, mm. put all these cartoon characters and they were fly back then. I think I can even still wear them now as normal slides, mm. right? And um, I, could, I know that fed us for a long time, you know, we mm. moved from one lodge to another to mm. sell those slippers and stuff. But now, he, he started lounging, he got a good job, he started, mm. he started making money. So he said, I'm like, bro, if I had your skills, like, mm -hmm. I would not have a weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, every Saturday on Sunday, I was to be, and I'm glad he, he listened to mm -hmm. advice, right? Because he's back now, learning cool. how to be better mm -hmm. on that. So I think this is time for us to start inculcating vocational skills into our educational system. It's okay for you to want to produce lawyers and doctors, but let's have a course that has to do with vocational, no people's interest. It, Your definitely quality will show bridge, it would definitely help bridge the gap in um, um, wealth, in wealth, the wealth mm. gap we have if you start to, um, if the labor unions has to really redefine that system mm. because you notice, even just look at the, the, the population, if you work with hands, there's a very high chance that you're poor. Yeah. If you're a plumber, mechanic, you know, mm. hairdresser, whatever, whatever, except, like I said, you have something extraordinary, like you're in a wealthy environment but or whatever that you can I, use to um, um, wealth that necessarily agree that they are poor i just feel now this is a personal feeling i feel like the way of life that they have chosen mm. might not let you see the amount of money they have so because i'm pretty certain my uh, organizer is poor i'm very certain <laughs> uh, it's, that's it's your organizer it's but me. you mentioned plumbers and all that okay. and i've seen plumbers i've seen very rich carpenters, are upper, carpenters. Uh, and, and they're a lot yes. in the population really no, no, guys no, don't, don't, don't no, I, I, said I, I've seen, I wish i wish you have more time but one. trust me there are people who has got this money but of the course, way you will spend it and arrange yourself, they don't understand it. But they have it kept one place in one colo, one and place. And education is key there. as well. Mm. Anyway, you need to we remember need to go. that. We actually need to go, unfortunately. But um, please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter Twitter plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwashuke. Yes, sir. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay safe.